a sauna versus click up which one is best for you hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you a quick comparison between a sauna and click up and which one is the better platform for you to get started with so let's get into it now a sauna and click up both are project management softwares that enable you to manage different projects or businesses a lot of these project management softwares call themselves as goal oriented instead of project management softwares or goal accomplishment softwares but it's basically the same thing and uh what we're going to do is first we're going to take a quick overview of both their platforms and i'm going to do like a direct comparison and then we're going to take a look at the price points of both of these platforms now getting started with asana this is the home section of asana where you have your priority section which is going to be only for you then you have your different projects added then you have the people that you have a frequent collaboration with in your home section now if we take a look at click up over here you have your lineup which which is going to be all of the tasks that are your important tasks then you have your trending any of the trending tasks then you have your my work section where you can also find your comments done and delegated then you have your overdue next and unscheduled work as well and then you have your calendar section on your right side as well both of these are pretty nice and then on ClickUp, you also have a mention section on your top right and a agenda section as well this i find to be a plus point on ClickUp. it enables you to see if you are needed somewhere especially the mentions function is super nice to to use because whenever any important work happens people will tag you and you can easily access it from here instead of having to browse through multiple workspaces all the time now if we move ahead on asana then you have your my task section and it's pretty much the same on the homepage of clickup you basically have your my work section over here and they have a separate task delegated to that so it is a pretty nice look i do find that the design language on clickup is a lot more margin than asana but that is up to personal preference as well now after that you have your inbox box on asana and then you have a reporting section then you have portfolios and then you have goals if we take a look at the ClickUp homepage, then you have your pulse section which is a lot sim simpler and then you have the, your goal section so both of these have the goal section in common however you don't get reporting and portfolios on ClickUp because uh, ClickUp is more focused on managing one's own work and one's own stuff so portfolios and management uh, is usually something that a manager would do so if you're in a managerial position then reporting and portfolios are probably more important functions to keep in mind and in that situation asana is definitely going to be uh, taking a lead for you now they do have a pulse section in ClickUp, which you might be wondering what is the pulse section it basically enables you to monitor specific times that people have been online on and this is like super helpful in terms of uh, payment uh, and paydays because you can easily monitor how many hours a specific person put in and then you can log that time as well now if we take a look at the navigation panel you also have your favorite section on ClickUp. But then you have your spaces which is going to be the workspaces that you have created then you have dashboards and then you have docs so all of the documents can be viewed from over here as well you can also click on add new and add documents so this enables you to find different documents within a workspace without having to scramble through and find them if we take a look at asana we have the saved searches so there are specific things that you can look for uh and you can save them in your saved searches and always find them at the tip of your fingers now below that you have your dashboard so this is the sales um, workspace that i have created over here and on clickup i've created a marketing workspace i'm going to open up the dashboards on both of them now i'm just going to open this up now you can see this is what a dashboard or a workspace on asana is going to look like and this is what it's going to look like on clickup now both of these look pretty good this is slightly more empty but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to load up a template so i'm going to click on use template create project and now i'm going to just show you guys what the look of both of these platforms is going to be like so this is going to be a workspace on asana first you have your overview section you have different views on your top you have the name you have a status as well for the project you can set that as well and like this is like the overall this is the sales workspace and then within that workspace you can create different uh, projects for that workspace it's very much the same on ClickUp as well so in that situation both of these are same uh, you can click on new space you can click on on templates and then you can create more dashboards or more spaces but it, this would all be present within the crm space and then if i click on the bottom left over here i have different workspaces and any of the data within the workspaces is not interchangeable within both clickup and asana so in the asana dashboard like if i add anything on sales it is not going to go on any other dashboard like if i am a member of any other a workspace like sales for brand b or shoe company any of the data that i have is not going to be interchangeable 
interchangeable and any of the information is not going to be interchangeable. So this will enable you to keep your work separated and you will easily be able to separate different businesses or projects or work for different clients using this method within these project management softwares. So in that situation, both of these are the same. But if I was to take a look at the views, so this is the list view on both of these platforms. It's pretty good. It's pretty neat. I find that the color schemes on ClickUp are a lot more helpful for identification. Uh, however, it is pretty nice that Asana provides you a lot more column detail and you can click on this plus icon and then add more fields on the premium version of Asana to further illustrate more details about your tasks. Then you have your board views. So if I click on board over here and I click on view, I click on board view, click on add view over here. Now you can see there are board views in both of these. Board views look pretty much the same. You can have your drag and drop functions like this and it's the same over here as well. So you have drag and drop like so and then you can move from one item to the next because it's a very simple process and then you also have like different filtration methods it's pretty much the same on asana as well you can click on filter and just filter this according to however you want then you also have customization so you can choose what kind of information you want to display about a task or what kind of information you don't need so generally both of these platforms are pretty much the similar like they're pretty similar and if you take a look at their calendars as well their views as well how to create a task all of that stuff is pretty much the same and if i click on add view over here you can see like the calendar view is pretty much the same overall i think it comes down to personal preference on which one you like more but there is one more thing you need to keep into consideration which is pricing so uh, both of these have a free version and the free version of clickup enables you to add as many members as you want so if we take a look at the free version of asana it will only allow you 15 people so that is one limitation that we have so if you have a team of over 15 people then you will have to upgrade to a premium version and if you were looking for a free project management software then you will have to go with clickup because it allows you to enter as many people as you would like but if we take a look at their features both of them are pretty similar both of them allow free unlimited tasks on their free version you can create unlimited projects on the free version of asana as well and then you also have a file storage limit of 100 MBs on both of these platforms and their free versions but if we were to compare the premium versions which starts at $10.99 on Asana you also get things like timeline views, workflow builders, automations, custom field, advanced searches while the premium versions on ClickUp start at $5 per member per month where you have Gantt charts, permissions, and dashboards and then you have the business version which I would compare to their premium which is $12 per member per month where you have unlimited teams exporting, advanced public sharing, and advanced dashboard features, granular time estimates, advanced time tracking as well. So if I was to say in terms of value for money, I think you're going to get more on ClickUp, but there are some managerial features which are better on Asana. In my preference, I have found ClickUp to be the smoother platform, uh, and I would recommend that you try out both of these before you go for your own personal choice. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.